shooting last November that left two people dead. Dozens of community organizations are meeting right now to talk about the investigative report and calls for a new special prosecutor. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin broke this part of the story and has some new details tonight about what some of those involved that night told investigators. Yeah, Lee, in fact, they called this officer back for a second interview, and it's what he said, or rather what he sent in a text that raises some new questions. Which officers are telling the truth, and which ones may be lying? We've seen the video. 62 police cars chasing down Melissa Williams and Timothy Russell. The two later died in East Cleveland after officers fired 137 shots. Police Chief Michael McGrath has said 115 officers in total participated in some way that night. Now that all comes into question. In the documents Attorney General Mike DeWine released on Tuesday, an officer's text messages were recovered. The officer sent a text message saying, quote, some people have lied to protect themselves and it's gonna come out. That could mean there were more than 115 officers involved that night. Cleveland City Councilman Zach Reed, who feels this information should not have been released by the Attorney General until a grand jury was seated, says this is exactly the reason why. It's disturbing if any of these police officers did lie, but a lie always catches up with you. So at the end of the day, the police chief in the task force that he's put together are going to drill down and we're going to find the truth. As for the cop who stood on the top of the hood of Russell's car and fired a total of 49 shots, the officer said, quote, deadly force is deadly force. If you use one or you use 50, you shoot to kill somebody. I was like, wow, to reload twice was, you know, it's adding up. The officer said after some Monday morning quarterbacking, he realized the car police were chasing backfired. He wanted to bring this information to his supervisors, but was shut down by union head Jeff Fulmer, being told, quote, to keep my mouth shut and just to speak to investigators. So I'm happy that the police officer is clearly saying, hey, I'm conflicted. I'm going to tell exactly what happened, and I'm going to let the chips fall when they may. Now we reached out to union head Jeff Fulmer for comment, but our calls were not returned. We're live on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.